Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and this one has come to me from the wonderful people at fgnormal.com and um, there are lots of special offers on at the moment uh, so if you want to go and check them out I'll put the uh, screenshots down below. It's always nice to get a special offer um, and I've done some fantastic projects from them recently and um, I've done a few completion reviews and quite a few unbaggings from them so if you go and check out uh, my FG Normal playlist you'll see uh, all the products I've had from them and as I said the comp last lot of completions I did were yeah, I love them. Okay let's see what we got this time. So we have a diamond painting and oh, another diamond painting. Oh, we might have some hot pink in this one. We'll just have to see. And then a little tiny packet. And oh, what else is in here? Oh, and some washi tape. Yay! Okay, so I do like my washi tape. Oh, this is a nice thin one as well. Uh, yeah, I was just looking through. As I say, I always tend to, um, when I'm doing any orders with companies, um, I always go and have a look at all the little bits and pieces and all the little quirky bits and see what's new as well. And I noticed that they have this really pretty washi tape. It's all bubbles, look. It's all little spots. And that is a really good size there as well. And they're a good price, these. So always go and just check them out when you're doing your shopping. It might be something that you just need to add to your cart so that you get your extra free gift or your extra money off. It might just be uh, a few dollars or a few pounds away from your uh, special offer so it's always worth just uh, going and having a look and popping something else into your basket but yeah i like this because it's a nice slim one and sometimes you don't need a thick washi tape around the edge of your painting so yeah that was just a little extra that i added in yeah i've got quite a few chunky ones but there is a lot on that rail there look at that Excellent, like that. So that's our first little item there. And then we'll have a look at this one in its little packet. I have opened and had a sneak peek because I can't wait to see this one. I'm getting a bit naughty, I'm starting to look. I'm going to have to stop that so, so I can open them with you. <laughs> but look, we've got a buzzy bee. Okay, and this is a bookmark. Um, I've had these in the past and I do like them. They're just something that's a little bit sort of if you're sending somebody um a little present or a card because as, as you know i do send things uh, abroad i've got family living abroad um and i think something like this it's not that expensive to post once it's done and it's still a nice little i've thought of you type gift some of the other things that i'd love to send okay. my niece in australia um, a diamond painting but sending a full diamond painting is just so expensive because they are very heavy once they've got all of the gems on but something like this doesn't add a lot extra to the package if you just want to pop something like this in but yeah it's a buzzy bee and I do like my bees Um, yeah I have got a bee themed bedroom it's not quite completed yet I've got curtains and bedding and they're only little tiny ones so don't worry I've not got a ginormous bee on my bed uh, yeah oh well I maybe would have done, but hubby wouldn't allow that. Uh, and then I've got my bee clock and I've got bee hanging things and I've just got a few more bee pictures to do. So, yeah, I've still got uh, just a few little things to do. But I just thought this was quite sweet. And they are useful, these bookmarks. They're in the faux leather, which is, I think it's EVA, something like that. There is a very, very long scientific name, but basically it's like faux leather. So the nice and easy wipe clean. These, I think, are quite sweet because your little, little sort of motif is at the top, your little diamond painted bit is at the top. So you can have that stuck out of your book and just have this bit in your pages. And they are nice and thin, so they're not going to damage your book at all. And yes, quite a few people do still read actual books, not just e-readers. So they are quite handy. And, you know, if you've got, say, children, uh, I don't know whether children still use textbooks. I don't know. <laughs> I think a lot of it's still on the Internet now. But, uh, yeah, you know, if you're wanting to mark out a page or if you've got a diary or a journal, it's quite nice to stick into a journal so that you keep your page as well. So just something a little bit extra. Looks like this one has six different gems and colours as well. And look at that. That's going to be a super big one in the middle. Yay! Okay, this one has our toolkit, uh, pen butt wax, and it has your plastic tweezers as well. 
I've never found those wholly useful for picking gems up. I've always found them useful for holding things down, um, particularly if anything's sticky or whatever. Like that. So, yeah, I do use them now. I have found a use for them. But, uh, yeah, basic toolkit, just what we need. Let's have a look at these gems and see what sparkly colours we got today. Okay. Ooh. Oh, look at... Oh, gosh, look how many of those we've got. Right, so we are starting off with our Akalea Silver to start off with. That's going to be the wings. We've got our lovely amber colour for around the wings of the bee and a little bit of his body. Our standard little 310 black there, which will just be the edges of your bee, make him stand out. And look, we need one number four. And look how many they've given us. Yay. That is excellent. Gosh, that really is a lot of extras. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got some little sort of lemony colours. So your B will be black and lemon. And then we've got some slightly larger black. And have they got facets on? They have uh, faceted rounds. And they are number six. Oh, so they're the body of the bee just to give him a little bit more thickness as it were make him look a little bit more fluffy i always think bumblebees particularly look really big and fluffy and yeah they'd be quite cuddly they wouldn't want to be cuddled but they would be quite cuddly so that's our lovely little bookmark and he is at the moment on the website two pounds and 99 so nice little project to do a nice little uh, starter kit for somebody as well if they're just starting out diamond painting um, or obviously for children to do. Uh, but yeah, once it's done, they make nice little gifts as well. Oh, this actually might just hang on my wall. She's just thinking about it. I've got some like bee um, cover minders and I've got some uh, bee little brooches and things and I could actually stick them onto here and have it hanging as like a little display for my bee things. There's an idea. Mmm, like that. Okay, so that's him. Right, let's look at this one next. And this is a lovely and colourful. I went very colourful on this uh, order this time. So we are a 30 by 40. So this will be going into my 30 by 40 challenge. Uh, I'm not sure how many I'm going to get done. But I'm, I'm aiming to do sort of four to five which is what I tried to do last time, but life got in the way. But we'll see how far we get this time. Okay. Oh, oh, is this a full crystal? Oh, I didn't realise that. Let me have a look. It is. It's a full crystal diamond painting. Oh, wow. Oh, let me just see then. Uh, we've got our pen butt and a bigger piece of wax. Okay. And it is these beautiful, oops, get it the right way up, orchids. And we do have DMC numbers for our crystals as well. So uh, that's what I've been working on, putting my crystal gems into DMC order. So, yeah, that's good then. Ooh, like that idea. Nice clear uh, key code there as well with numbers and letters doesn't look like oh there is an odd symbol on there as well but it doesn't look like we've got any problems nice clear drill field there can we just yep all those are standing out can't see that there's anything blurry okay so let's just flatten this one out and we'll have a look at the gems i've forgotten that this one was full crystal I think after the last full crystal one that I did, I don't know if you saw that one, um, it will be in my completion reviews. Uh, it wasn't from this company, it was from another company. Um, it was very dull colours, it was blues and beiges, and it really didn't stand out very well. And I thought, I don't want to be put off doing full crystal paintings. I do, you know, I do want to keep doing them because I, yeah, I do like my bling. So I thought I'll get one that's a lot of bright colours and see if the detail stands out more on that one. And I think it will. I think this, you can see the block colours on this now. I think this will be stunning once it's completed. And it was only £5.49 for a full crystal 30 by 40, which is excellent. So let me just do a quick measure. 
think we will be probably 25 by 35. Yeah, so 25, which is nine and three quarter inches by 35 centimeters, 13 and three quarter inches. Wow, so yeah, 20 different gems and colors. Oh, I'm so pleased it's got the DMC codes. What I'm thinking with my crystals is possibly not keeping my crystals um, that haven't got DMC codes, just gifting those or donating those and just keeping the ones that I actually have as a DMC code so that if I'm doing another picture and I think, oh, I quite like that colour, it might look quite nice if I just add a little bit of bling into my painting, then I can look up the DMC code for it and see if I've got that colour and then put it onto my painting. Mm -hmm. that's my idea anyway could take me years but judging by the amount that um, i'm actually getting done possibly not <laughs> so let's have a look at all these crystals all the exciting stuff How are the orchids let me know in the comments down below am i don't know if i've got my flowers muddled up i don't know whether they are orchids or not i'm sure somebody will tell me I'm hopeless at gardening. I'm great at killing things. I'm excellent at killing plants. They just take one look at me and think, oh, it's hair. We're not even going to bother growing. <laughs> so, oh, look at that colour. I don't know if it will show up. It's a very deep purpley colour. Royal purple. Love that. Stunning. And then we have, let's see, where do we start? We start at number one. Uh, we do have a key code on both sides as well, which is handy when you're working on your painting, because I tend to turn my paintings round. Um, so having the key code at both ends can be quite a help sometimes. All right. So this is 154 in crystal, and that's quite a standard colour. I do tend to get that quite a lot in my paintings, and it is one that I do have a lot of spares of, but not in crystals. Got a lovely aqua colour there. Look at that gorgeous. Another purpley colour and a very pale lilac. And then a little bit of lavender colour there. And we do have our standard 310 black. You'll tend to find in a lot of paintings that you do get that little bit of um, just a plain black sometimes, just to deaden it down a little bit. We've got our amber colour there and a pale yellowy gold and oh what colour is that one let me have a look number nine oh it's five six one that's a very deep green oh oh yes i can see it's deep green now couldn't quite see it at the moment a very pale gold and that one's a very sort of sagey green colour and a very pale greeny yellow and a nice little bit of bright red and another beige gold and oh that's a very deep sort of purpley pink not quite a hot pink but not far off are they the same color uh, they are that's two bags of that color so that must be the main flower color and that is 917 Ooh. and then we have a bronzy color and another well, I'm going to call hot pink. Yeah, I'm going to call hot pink on that because that is quite a, a deepish pink. We have a, that's a greeny colour, which is uh, 3799. And then, oh, that's a lovely colour. That's like a sea greeny colour. Very pretty. Okay, so that is project number four. And then this one is just a little bit of fun. And let me get into it. The opening. Okay, this is just a 30 by 30. It doesn't want to come out of the packet. Come on. I don't want to be fighting today. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So, this is a standard drill. Oh, looks like we've renumbered one there. That's good. So, they're obviously doing quality checking which is excellent oh some nice colors in there <gasps> and have a good hot pink oh we have a good hot pink yay okay pen button wax standard toolkit and it is i just thought a pretty little picture with a lot of color pencils all coming into the center of the picture i thought this is quite nice for an art room or a craft room or for a school or anywhere really just uh, something a little bit different 
put lots of nice and sparkly colours. It's a full drill again, uh, round, these are both round pictures as well. Okay, and it actually has 22 different colours. Wow, that's a lot of colours for a little picture. Okay, we have uh, all DMC codes. That's a lovely, bright and clear key code there. And it looks like we're 128, yep, yeah, are numbers. And one is one and eight is eight. And then your letters from A to U, all the way down there. Doesn't look like we've got anything that's going to clash with another one. They're all either different colours or different letters. Excellent. Nice clear drill field as well which is what we like to see. Can't see there's any blurry symbols there. But I just thought it's sort of a universal type picture. And um, if you're not sure what to put in a little corner somewhere, you could just add this one. And it'll be interesting to see how it comes and out and how the colours come out on this one as well. So let's have a look at the drills. Actually, let's have a quick measure. I think we'll find it's a 25 by 25. Oh, it's actually a 24 centimetres, which is nine and a half inches by 24 centimetres, nine and a half inches. So it's a nice little one, this one. And what I would suggest with this, if you're going to put it on the wall, is choose one of the colours that possibly matches your decor best and just put a little bit of an edging around it. I mean, to be fair, you could even put the uh, washi tape around it with it being the dots. That wouldn't go amiss. With your painting because it's all the different colours in it but the reason I like um, the thinner washi tape I'm quite pleased with this actually it's got a key code on both sides is sometimes when you're wanting to put your washi tape round if you've got your glue just coming over your edges and you don't want to get all fluff and bits stuck on it then just pop it onto the edge of your painting but then this isn't covering over your symbols and your DMC codes look so you can actually still see your key code there. Um, whereas sometimes the thicker ones will completely cover over quite a big chunk of your little uh, key code on the side. But your thinner ones don't. So I do tend to like the thinner ones sometimes. Obviously, depending on the size of the painting. It, it is quite see-through, is washi tape anyway. Uh, depending on your pattern, a lot of them are quite um, a see-through one. But yeah. Excellent. Okay, so let's have a look at these drills and see what we've done. So it looks like there has been a little bit of a mistake on the numbering on the drills, but somebody has gone through and changed them, which is excellent. You know, uh, mistakes do get made, but these have been corrected before they've come. So that's really good quality control. And it looks like we've got two 15 bags as well. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, hot pink. Yay. Yay. Hot pink. Okay, well, do we start? Goodness me, is this number one? This is number one at this end. So we're starting off with a grey colour and a fawny brown colour and a hot pink. And another beige brown colour and a lovely cherry red. A nice dark green and a chestnutty brown and a little bit of wine colour there. And another cherry red, different shade, a little bit of pale pink, another beige colour. We've got quite a lot of beige colours. I suppose that's going to be the pencils, like the wooden bit that's uh, been sharpened. So you've got your colour on the end and then the colour um, on the actual like stem of the pencils. And then we've got your green colour there, nice fresh green. A little bit of very dark blue with a green that's escaped to go and join that party. And a nice bright sky blue. Oh, a lovely bright orange. And that looks, is that a dark brown or a dark blue? Number 16 is, oh, 3371, so it's another dark blue. And then these are your beige, peachy, browny colours. <gasps> another hot pink. And then purpley colour and a little bit sort of a mauvey colour and then a nice blue at the end which will be this blue here excellent oh that is a lot of colours it's very pretty this when it's done let's just have a look at these then what we've done with this 
so yeah they've just got these two colors i think yeah 13 yeah they've got 14 and 15 muddled up so they've put some extra 14, uh, 15 in and number 14 is the orange which is 971 and 15 is 995 so yeah you know at least they've spotted it that's really really good pop those back into there so we've had a little bit of a mixture of paintings today we have our full drill pencils which is uh, all in round we have our round full crystal diamond paint in there and then we just have our little buzzy bee as a special with just a few yeah. drills on it so yeah excellent I'm really pleased that i've got this the full crystal one that will be uh, quite interesting to see how that one comes out as i say i was a little bit disappointed with the previous one that i got from another company um, i think that was more the color palette than the actual uh, painting but this one i think will be a lot more vibrant and will stand out a lot more so a huge thank you fg normal for sending me these um oh and i forgot about my little bit of washi tape as well excellent okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me if you have as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and don't forget to go to fgnormal.com and check out all those special offers and see what they've got available they did have quite a few crystal paintings as well so it's always worth a look if you want to do something a little bit different Okay, well, if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see some of these completed, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.